Let me give you a sneak peek into the future. In the future, everything will be truly personalized. In the future, we will be designing one therapy for each individual patient. Personalization is now becoming a reality due to the advancements in artificial intelligence or AI. AI is enabling us to develop cancer therapy that are specifically tailored to the individual patient based on the genetic code or the DNA of the individual. We can use the wealth of information contained within the DNA of the individual to tailor the therapy to that specific cancer patient. But now you may ask yourselves, how do we get from the DNA of an individual cancer patient to a personalized cancer therapy using AI? In order to understand this, let's take a step back and look at cancer therapy. In a traditional cancer therapy approach, such as chemotherapy, we're using a one-size-fits-all model. These types of therapies target cancer non-specifically, which, um, which causes side effects and is not always effective in fighting off the cancer. The challenge, however, is in cancer and in tumors, tumors, each tumor is unique, and we can argue that a more effective therapy can de be developed if we treat the tumor as such. In a personalized approach, we want to target each patient uniquely. More importantly, we want to target each tumor uniquely. We basically want to look at the foreign elements that are displayed on the surface of the tumor cells and target these. These foreign elements arise from mutations that can be caused by, for example, env environmental factors such as sun or smoking. Mutations are completely normal events in the human body, and we have developed many mechanisms to mitigate the potentially dangerous actions that these mutations can have. However, in cancer, these one or more mutational events have not been mitigated, and this can result in the development of a potentially malignant tumour. Tumour cells are disguising themselves as normal cells. This means that Tumor cells are putting up a protective shield, allowing them to attract all the essential nutrients they need to grow, allowing them to ultimately grow out of control. The immune system cannot recognize the tumor cells as foreign. Our immune system consists of so-called T cells. And T cells constantly survey the body and monitor whether there's any danger lurking. They are experts in finding foreign intruders that are trying to invade the body, such as bacteria and virus, virus such as the coronavirus, which I guess you are all ex experts in now in light of the pandemic. In cancer, the tumor should in principle be just as foreign to the human body as a virus is, but somehow it is not. The tumor goes unnoticed by the immune system. The tumor is in disguise. We want to design personalized cancer therapy that helps the immune system see the tumor. We want to help the immune system see the foreign elements on the surface of the tumor cells. And we want to boost an immune response that makes sure that we have the right T cells present and enough of the T cells present to actually fight off the tumor. In a personalized cancer therapy, what we want to do is we want to develop a therapy specifically designed based on the genetic code of the DNA of the individual patient. We want to bring this, these foreign elements that are on the surface of the tumor, we want to bring them out in the open. And the way we do that in a personalized cancer therapy approach is actually by providing the body with more of this foreign material, exactly as we would do in a vaccine against coronavirus. So, let me illustrate what these foreign elements actually are. These foreign elements are what we call neoepitopes or new epitopes. And epitopes are small molecules that are displayed on the surface of our cells in complex with a specialized immune molecule called MHC. Neoepitopes or new epitopes have arisen from mutations in our DNA and then they are displayed on the surface of the cells in complex with these MHC. Each cancer patient or each tumor of each cancer patient is defined by a unique set of neopitopes. And also each patient has a unique set of MHC. 
It's only a subset of the molecules that are bound to the MHC or displayed on the surface by MHC that are actually neocotopes. And identifying these of, uh, is a hugely complex task. Also, the immune system being able to see these is also a, a highly complex task for the immune system. Imagine that these neopotopes are screaming at the top of their lungs, trying to inform the immune system that there is danger. The neopotopes are trying to tell the immune system that there's something wrong with this cell, there's something wrong with this tumor cell, and that they should immediately kill the cell. The problem is, however, that these, this signal that the neopotopes are trying to convey is drowning in other single signals provided by the, the tumor cell, but also surrounding the tumor cell that results in the neopotope signal not being heard. What we want to do in a neopotope-based personalized cancer therapy is we want to shift this balance and we want to amplify the danger signal, basically allowing the immune system to be able to hear the voices of the neopotopes. We want to provide the neopotopes with a megaphone in order for the immune system to be able to hear them better in order to fight off the, the tumor. Let me try to visualize how we would design such a, a personalized cancer therapy. This you see here is a cancer patient. Or more specifically, this is the healthy DNA of a cancer patient. This is the DNA of the tumor of this specific cancer patient. What we want to do is we want to identify these mutations that are unique to the tumor of this specific patient. And the way in which we do that is overlay the DNA of the tumor with the DNA of the healthy tissue in order to isolate the mutations. This results in potentially a list of thousands of mutations. And what we want to do is we want to, based on these thousands of mutations, we want to identify which of those are actually displayed on the surface of cells and, uh, and are able to interact with the immune system in order to inform that this tumor is actually a tumor cell. So what we want to do is we want to find the needle in the haystack. We want to find the neopotopes that will be displayed on the surface. And this is a challenging task. In principle, what we want to do is we want to actually test each of these mutations in the lab. We want to test whether they are displayed on the cell surface. And we also want to test whether they, are, they have the ability to interact with the immune system. However, as you can imagine, doing this, testing all of these in the lab would, is a highly complex task would take very long time uh, and is therefore not feasible. So we need other tools to identify these neopotopes. And this is where AI comes into the picture. An AI algorithm in the context of neopotope identification is trained on vast biological data sets that contain information about molecules that are displayed on the surface of cells. And we can use that information to identify our neotopes. An example of such data is that we take cells from lots and lots, thousands and thousands of different people. We then strip the surface of these cells for their, for their epitopes. As you can imagine, this results in an extremely long list of epitopes. What we want to do with AI is we want to look at this really long list of epitopes and we want the AI to identify patterns in these uh, epitopes that will allow us to look at similar patterns in neopotopes in order to figure out what is actually presented on the cell surface. What we do with our AI algorithm when we see, when we get a new patient and we want to see what neopotopes are unique to this patient's tumor, is that we use our AI and the, the AI uses all its past experience that it's learned from all of the other data it's seen, and it uses that past experience to figure out for this specific patient, which neopotopes should we be bringing out into, into the open? Which neopotopes, which voices should we be amplifying in order for the immune system to be able to spot the tumor? Once we've identified our neopotopes with our AI algorithm, we can go back into the lab and we can then make more of these neopotopes synthetically. We can then put these neopotopes into our personalized cancer therapy and give this back to the patient in order to amplify the danger signal and for the patient's own immune system to be able to fight off the cancer. Let me finish off by telling you a story about tomorrow based on many of the things that we can already do today. 
After many years in the sun, mostly without sun protection, my grandmother Harriet has developed skin cancer. She visits the hospital and the hospital decides that a personalized cancer approach would be the way to go for her. A tumor biopsy and a blood sample is taken from my grandmother. And this is the material we need to design a personalized therapy specific for her. Once she is waiting for her therapy to be produced, we'll take a look behind the scenes and see how do we actually produce this personalized cancer therapy. We look at the DNA of the healthy tissue of my grandmother, and we look at the DNA of our tumor, and this is what we use to identify the computational or computationally identify the mutational landscape of her tumor specifically. We can use the blood sample to identify the MHC, the immune molecules that are specific to her. Once we have this information, we can then use AI to extract the neopotopes that are specific to her tumor. These computational steps can, can be achieved within a matter of hours. Once we've identified, identified our neopotopes, we can go back into the lab, synthesize them, make a personalized cancer therapy specific for my grandmother. And when she comes back to the hospital, she can be given her therapy. And after some time, my grandmother's own immune system will be able to fight off the cancer. Just imagine this world of tomorrow, a world where personalization is the norm and where each cancer patient can be treated specifically based on his or her tumor. A world where each cancer patient can be given a cancer, uh, cancer treatment with no off-target toxicities and with high effectiveness in fighting off the foreignness in the body that is the cancer. Tailor-made, personalized cancer therapy driven by AI can potentially make this a reality. Thank you.